<laughs> That's what they do, isn't it? Changing the light bulb song. Right, here we are, Facebookers. Uh, lovely to see you all, and it's a lovely day in Scarborough again. Let's keep our spirits up, and we're going to make a nice chicken madras type curry full of flavour. And it's an authentic recipe that's been handed down uh, from my mother through Mrs. Mohammed, who was our neighbour, and they were fortune tellers on the promenade in Scarborough. How good is that? And they were Pakistanis. And they come and give us this beautiful, shared this lovely recipe. So I'm really going to go and start with going through all the bits and pieces that you need. So really you need one of these, the Gucci cups here, because you've got to measure it. And I'll show you the measurements later on. So first of all, I'm going to show you what we've got. Fresh coriander. Butter. You've got to use butter. And Mrs. Mohammed said the secret to her success was butter. Proper, not, not that ghee or oil out like that, or fat butter onions nice big fat onions fresh chilies fresh garlic and then there's a lot of spices now what I do recommend if you're going to do this curry go down the Asian shop and you get these like 150 a pop but they will last a long time where there's these coming there that are about two pound a pop we've seen them in, in the supermarkets so I'll go through these very slowly for you and then we have Garma masala that's going to be included in the recipe and then I'm going to show you this sticks of cinnamon they're lovely there nice things them and then we've got some I like these not everyone's cup of tea cardamom pods I shoved them in all like that cloves we all know all about them in Ireland we shove them in our lemon in our hot whiskey which we love so much Irish penicillin I call it turmeric very very healthy stuff we know about that Two packs of them. Chili, we'll go into that later on when we go through measuring because it's up to you how much you put in. And then we've got coriander powder and ginger. So there's a lot of spices. But once you get set, it might cost you 20 pounds to get set up, but you're set up then and it'll last, last a nice few dishes there. Oh, I forgot that, cumin. Right, and I have these. If you don't know, these are cream coconuts, not the stuff out the tin, because that's bland compared to these. And it looks like a block of soap, this, really. And um, it's concentrated coconut. What I'll do, I'll put them in some a saucepan of water, and I'll just melt them down. So you get a nice coconutty flavour. And then we've got chopped tomatoes, six tins, salt, mango chutney, because we're putting chilli in, a lot of heat going in, then we want a bit something sweet there to balance it out. Obviously rice, and then this is my secret weapon. If you make this, and I hope you try it, and if it doesn't taste like you think it's going to taste like you're getting in Indian or, or in a restaurant, something like that there, put some curry paste in, and that'll just give it a bit of extra body. Remember, you can always put in... Sorry, you can always put him. you can't take out. You can't take out once you've gone mad with this. But we won't be going mad with it. We'll show you how to do it, our little method, and I guarantee you'll enjoy it. Okay. <laughs> right, we're back at it. Just come forward here, Dan. Just pan on this. Look, this is my pot and my little camping stove here. I'll tell you what I've done. I've chopped all them onions up. The chilies, and we took the garlic in afterwards, and then we just made them nice and soft. Now you've got to be prepared for this. I'll just take that off a sec. So I've got the um, what have we got there, Dad? Coconut, and, and I've rendered it down in milk. I said water in the previous thing, but it is milk, not water. And then I've got this uh, obviously the mango, tins of tomatoes, chicken because we're making a chicken curry, and that's all the spices. I'm going to show you how to do this in a correct sequence. The first thing is we throw all the chicken in. There's enough for about six or eight people this, this uh, dish. So there's a two and a half kilos of chicken. There's been six onions put in there. The garlic and the, and, and the uh, chilies all chopped up there look. So there we are. Now we chuck the meat in. I'll give it a little stir like that. Now this is the difference, if you just pan on it down on top, there's all, can you see that, there's all the spices and they all go in together, 
like that. And now there's about a third, without spilling it on the floor, a third of a Gucci cup for each one, apart from salt and chilli, because that's to taste, that is, whatever you like, it's salt, too salty or, or too much chilli, it's up to you, there's a too many. Give it a nice colour, that will. Right, so this is why it's going to be different from a, a stew, because we mix it all up, Dan, if you just look, look at there, look. And it, it's like working on a building site out like this. Everything's getting coated in these lovely spices. So this is what it's supposed to look like. So I keep I keep just turning it around like that. So everything gets coated up. Okie doke. So you must have everything prepared quick. Every, your, tins, your tins of tomatoes opened. Your coconut rendered down. There we go. Right, now we're getting where we want to be. Look at that. Now look at the colour. Look at the colour we're getting on here. We're getting that lovely golden colour from the turmeric. Look at that. That is going to be delicious. I can smell it from here. It's really nice. So, next thing. Tomatoes. Turn it down a touch. Tomatoes. Two. Three. Four. Now, you can put more in, you can put peppers in if you want, you can put what you want in. But this is our little method here. I'll just give that a stir around. Can you see that right now? Is that a lovely, lovely picture there, Dan? Right. There we go, we're getting there now. Look at that. This is how simple it is. But you've got to do it in the right sequence. And then, there's our lovely coconut. Put myself in it. We shove that in. I know some of them Indian people watching this in India, Pakistan are saying you're doing it all wrong Rocky but this is a Yorkshire, Yorkshire curry from a Pakist lovely Pakistani lady, Mrs Mohammed. how good is that? And while I'm talking away there, I forgot to mention our lovely NHS staff, how hard they're working because we see it 24-7 and you're absolutely wonderful we love you to death all of you. And we'll never be able to repay you for what you've done. Right. Right, we're getting there, look at this. Now, I've saved that, I won't put all that in, I don't think, but I'll just bubble this away for about an hour, then I'll come back to it, keep stirring it, come back to it, and then I'll put some mango chutney in, and we'll come back to that in a minute, Dan. Ready? Yeah. Okay, so we've had this on the go for an hour and a half now. Can you turn that music off, please? Then, thank you. Anyway, so we've had it on. If you just come back in again, Dan, and then you can see, look, that the, the meat is, we, we put chicken thighs in because you get, get extra, extra um, flavour, obviously, from the bones and that. And we've got a few bits of cinnamon sticks, look like logs. But um, it's nearly complete now, so it's took an hour and a half to cook. And I'm just going to plate up a little portion of the Gucci cup there. And um, there we go. Get a bit of meat for her. to the bottom there you are. Oh there we are look. There we are and this is for my uh, special guest today which is my wife Debbie. There you go darling. Thank you. Do you need a spoon for that? I'll be fine with this. Right we're all in done. Right what do you think? Bloody marvellous. Now, Delicious. You, you've got a glass of wine you got one of the best chicken curries you could ever have. I'm How, living the dream. You're, you're, you're living, living the, the dream. Now, we we'll go back to living the dream. Now, a lot of people don't believe me when I sell them. When did you first meet me? How old were you? Eleven. Eleven. And I was 14. Correct, sir. And now it's been going on for how many years now? A long time. 40 something? Yep. Yeah. Yep. And uh, years. what do you think to it so far? Barbara. No, the manager, I mean, not oh. the grudge. <laughs> Fabulous. Fabulous. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure. So, all those that have watched my videos and don't know, I am married. This is my, this is my lovely wife here, Deb, sat in Scarborough, eating her chicken curry. How good's that? And uh, I put the coriander, just chopped it up, shoved that in as a last last thing, and then it's done that. We're not going to have it till tomorrow, actually, because we're cooking the rice for it tomorrow, and we've had something else and a bit of meat pie. is lovely. So, that's it. I hope you can follow over. You've followed what I've done. And, and it can enjoy that experience we've had with an authentic curry from an authentic uh, lady from Pakistan, Mrs. Mamid, fortune telling people. 
and uh, and that's it really crack on